My name is Brandon Coons. I'm a product designer for Axial. Yeah. My name is Jamie Seymour. I'm a product designer also, but my background is more automotive styling, and uh, I do a lot of the body work, um, things that people see on the outside of the vehicles. Well, Axial comes from uh, more of a lifestyle company. Everybody here likes to be outdoors, um, off-roading, camping, adventure. Uh, so we started with the rock crawling as our first product. That got us into a solid axle um, RC car that nobody else was really doing. We took that, made it a scale truck, and that became the SCX-10. And from there we decided, okay, it's time to go fast. So we looked at short course, which was kind of popular in the industry. We decided to go a different route and make a desert buggy, and the XO was born. Um, at that time we also had a larger uh, rock racer chassis called the Wraith. And a few years later we said, okay, it's time we're going to take the XO, take the Wraith, combine the two, and the Yeti was created, which gave us a solid axle, rear suspension, independent front suspension. And from there, uh, Jamie took the project over and developed a new body, wheels, tires, cage, bumper, and the SCORE trophy truck was born. Though other RC companies may want to create trophy trucks, they really can't call them trophy trucks without the partnership that we have. Uh, so we're, we've been able to create this vehicle with the solid rear axle, the independent front suspension, the, all the scale details, everything that looks just like a trophy truck, and then we also get to call this vehicle a trophy truck. And we get to carry the SCORE logo on the side of the vehicle. So some more on the chassis. Um, yeah, let you take your body. <laughs> uh, it's very similar to a full-size trophy truck. You have a live axle in the back, um, four-link suspension, trailing arms. The shocks are captured in the links. Um, you get to play with the leverage rates and everything when you do that. Sway bar on the back to control the torque twist. A lot of times you'll see a video of the full-size trucks in a turn and they're lifting that inside tire. We have to fight that same thing, but at a different scale. Um, so it's a lot of fun to, to tweak and tune and get to play with all that stuff. Front end is independent suspension. All the tow-in, camber, um, all the adjustments are there for, for guys that like to tune and tweak on that stuff. First thing in our body is Axial's known for adding lots of scale details. Um, you'll notice some RC cars, it's just a Lexan body that just sits over the chassis. We like to add a lot of these injected molded plastic parts so we get vents, we get headlights, we get a grill, we get exhaust. Um, and then we work with our, our partners. So like King Shocks, we actually have, you know, we've made a replica King Shock inside here. In terms of the tires, we work with BF Goodrich, and we've got the brand new KR2 BF Goodrich tires. They're replicas. We work with uh, Method Wheels, so we have replicas of the Method Wheels. Um, even, you know, we work with Magnaflow, so we make a little exhaust piece. Um, interior parts, we try and replicate Sparco belts or whoever it may be, you know, and then having score on the vehicle is a huge de deal for us. Um, you know, we had things like a spare tire. A lot of companies don't put the extra money into the fifth wheel and tire, but that's kind of what our customers demand are these details. Um, a vehicle that um, performs in a very scale manner and also has all the visual scale cues to it. Drivetrain, motors in the center, so it's a very balanced chassis. Battery also sets in the center of the chassis. The transmission also has um, a pinion and spur gear, which is like, a, you know, basically the main place to change your gearing. You go to larger pinions, like changing a sprocket on a motorcycle, and you know, you can gear it up, less torque, but higher speed, and you can play with that for your terrain and driving style.